see you tomorrow, Pizza Rat. Oh, I didn't see you there. Don't you just love New York City? Move it, Swandy. Oh, thanks. I just had it done. Hey, if you got a sec, I'd love to take you on a tour of God's love we deliver. Let's go inside. I am so excited to be here at God's Love We Deliver. Thank you, Emmett. Every day, they cook and home deliver more than 10,000 meals that are delicious and nutritious for our neighbors who are too sick to shop or cook for themselves. I'm gonna show you around and tell you a little bit more, but first, of course, I have to wash my hands. Mm, I gotta keep time. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. God's Love We Deliver is a New York City institution like ice skating in Central Park, or walking outside and wondering, what's that smell? Oh look, I'm doing it too, guys. <laughs> it all began in 1985, in the early days of the AIDS pandemic, doing what so desperately needed to be done, feeding people who were ill, and all too often alone. What began as one woman delivering one meal to one man dying of AIDS has turned into a movement of thousands cooking and home delivering beautiful meals to New Yorkers in need. These volunteers are the heart of God's love we deliver. They truly do it all from ladling to chopping, not to mention how good looking and tall they are. Simply put, God's love couldn't do its vitally important work without the help of these big hearted souls who show up here every single day. Say hi everyone. Hi. Okay, now back to me. Making these meals each weekday is a whole lot of work, but it's also a whole lot of fun. And thanks to the generosity of people like you, this kitchen is prepared to meet the challenge. All of these giant freezers are filled to the brim. Every day, hundreds of pounds of veggies are steamed in these steamers. Pro tip, ask for this station. It's great for the skin. They make all the soups and the sauces in these ginormous kettles. God's Love is the only organization of its kind in New York City making medically tailored meals for people with illness. And because here food is medicine, these meals contain no preservatives, additives, or fillers, which is more than I can say for most of my friends in show business. Thank you for laughing, Cindy. Every client speaks to a nutritionist on staff who designs their menu just for them and their dietary needs. And because illness affects the entire family, God's love makes sure to feed not only the individual clients, but their children and their senior caregivers as well. And what's more, this is one of my favorite bits. They also bake and personalize a birthday cake for each client, child, and senior caregiver to help them celebrate their very special day. Oh, you guys! Huh? Oh, wait! Don't forget Agnes and Queens. Thank you, Clifton. At the end of the day, God's love isn't just feeding. They are nourishing thousands of neighbors who need help. If you're looking for a place to volunteer, donate, or if you just know someone who needs help, reach out to God's love. Good to go. Jane? Michael Kors? They allow celebrities to drive these things? Jane, they allow us to do a lot of things. Oh, well, then move over. I'm driving. <laughs> you know how to get to Queens. Uh, Queens-ish. All right, we'll wing it. Musical theater single on the way uptown, Michael. <laughs> You had a dream. 